He's taking their jobs. He's denying their children bursaries. He's denying them salaries. He's even denying the medicine in hospitals. He's denying them everything. They become orphans with no father, no mother. The other day, Ndutu went and abused me. He has been abusing me every day with another one called Sangok. I don't even know where that one came from. Insulting me every day. And I like to tell them this. I will fight for the rights of my people. Whether I'm in any position or not, you cannot take away what, is the, what God gave us as our inheritance. So I like to advise them. Go and look for further insults because he insulted me for a long time because I will not stand down on the right of my people. But by there is a parcel of land uh, that's uh, called Morijo, which is actually a holding ground. A holding ground, which is community land. The other day, Dutu fraudulently went and secured a title in the name of the county government, which means that he has taken away the land from the community, the Puko community. He has even started dividing it, subdividing it, giving it to people whom we do not know what rights they have over the land. And worse of all, he does not involve the community, neither does he even involve the county assembly. The county assembly people are there, are here. I don't know that that thing has ever been brought to the county assembly. He may have let the assembly. So how can one man decide to alienate the land of our people and decide to sell it any way he wants? It will not happen. I would like to call upon the elected people of Narok, especially the national leaders, the members of parliament, the senator, to come and rescue their people from land grabbers and from the oppressors. The other day, I talked to uh, Simon Chologwe, who is the Minister for Cooperatives. And I told him, because you came to claim some land here, that is not your land. That is the birthright of our children. Please leave it. I told him that. And he told me, that is government land. That is, uh, we were given by the governor. The land does not belong to the governor. And I want to tell him now on TV, please leave our land alone. Leave our land alone. When you come and talk about development, not, we don't hate development. But on what basis are you developing that land? Who is the developer? What, what are they giving to the people? Who is compensating them? And where is the money for compensation going to? I like to call upon the elected leaders of Narok, especially those ones in the national scene. Forget those ones who are nominated, who are the most needs makers. I'm talking about the representatives of the people. Your people are crying for justice. Your people are asking, where are our leaders? Your silence, your, your silence is too loud. Come to the rescue of your people. Tell Chelogoy, tell his boss that there is no land for outsiders in Narok. We know these are grabbers. Nami na shanga. Hii dunia. Mutu unachukua shamba kila mahali. Na pali utakwishia ni fiti sita kwa sita. Ni anini yote? Ni anini? Kwa hiyo minu kataka kusama, hakuna shamba ndutu anapeana. Hakuna. Puruko haiku kubali. Hata mechafua at bishop sabi tukusama hati ya mekubali. Hakuna mtu wa mekubali. Na kuna njia kwa katiba na kwa shiria zingine sa chukua kuchukua ardhi ya community. Na moja ni kwamba lazima wakubali. Lazima wapewe wa fidia ama compensation. Hawezi kuchukua shamba ya watu lai. Namna hiyo. So I call upon those leaders. The elected leaders. Please come to the rescue of your people. Stand up. Rise up to the occasion. Don't keep quiet when your people are suffering. Told the president that the land that is being given out does not belong to those people. It belongs to the community. Ingina ambaye ningataka kusema, juzi kulikoko na wazewa litua, sababu title lidi lito 